El Puente is a movement. It's a people's movement, a movement that inspires and nurtures leaders for peace and justice. We needed a bridge, and our young people were the bridge. And that's what El Puente means, the bridge. El Puente has served as a model that the solutions come within the community and not from outside. El Puente started many years ago. Uh, we've been around for about 33 years. Yeah. And, it was, and it started with people that were born or raised in this community. Uh, people that were interested in the betterment of the community. We felt that our young people connect their families with the community, that they could inspire hope, that we can begin to connect the Latino community, the Dominican and Puerto Rican community together. Our commitment is to nurture the next generation of leaders that will be committed to equity for people of color. To be proud of you from, no matter where you're from, is like um, blacks and Hispanics are minorities. So a lot of people, them, they feel like they feel bad about themselves. They shouldn't, because being us is just awesome. Right? <laughs> we not only see ourselves developing our young leaders, but giving them opportunities to lead. Our leadership centers are programs, and these are centers where young people come and understand that they are committing themselves to a community, a community that has clear, a clear mission and clear principles by which everyone aspires to, to live by. When young people come, they, they get an orientation about the history of El Puente, the legacy that they are now part of, and then they have choice. They have choice in terms of their passion. What are they passionate about? We want them to walk through our doors because they felt the they need for something that they wanted to develop, their passions. When I was little, I used to dance, but like I didn't like really dance dance. I used to, I used to just dance crazy. And now that Ms. Afalia is teaching, she's just teaching us different steps and moves that we could like use in other choreography. It helps them uh, um, get confidence as, as far as their uh, you know, uh, growth. It's something that's, that I, I wish I had when I was a child growing up. The Abuente Academy for Peace and Justice was the first public school in the United States focused on peace and justice and leadership development. I think the Academy is its a realization of our vision incorporated in, a, in, in, in an educational institution. The Abuente Academy is a school, is a community, a learning community for young people and for the adults, for them to aspire and achieve their greatest potential and also to strive for mastery, understanding that their mastery is going to be a tool for bringing greater peace and equity into this world. El Puente has a very safe environment. They, they always support you with anything you do. And they, they make sure they give that to you like the first day you get in there. El Puente is one of the main reasons I am the man I am today. Step into Brooklyn. Street lights, child's laughter, I hear you Lady Liberty. Mom screaming for everyone to get inside. In this concrete jungle, we are the sirens. The strength, the core. We feed you with our supermarkets and bodegas. We use trains to explore like iron horses. Our culture will stay alive, loud music is our vibe. We live in brick walls, stay listening to Biggie Small. On happy days, we love you Brooklyn because of you, we will never sleep. I'm so excited about Cadre because it really is the sort of manifestation of where is the next step for us in terms of really uh, creating sort of a membership program for our adults. And it really came from artists themselves. I'm a, a Cadre member with El Puente and uh, I'm a, we've been a member for a number of years. We are, we're a music and dance performance group and uh, we do bomba. Bomba is a traditional uh, African derived music and dance form uh, from Puerto Rico. Bomba has been around for over 400 years yet some people it's the first time they've ever heard about bomba. 
El Puente is an organization that, that is committed to the empowerment of the Latino community, um, our Latino community, the preservation and the passing on of our culture, um, the richness of our culture um, in terms of its music, dance, uh, rituals and traditions. Um, and so we have been very, very uh, committed to that. Some years ago, I started thinking about what was happening in this community, about how people were becoming depressed. They wake up one day, and where there was a bodega, there's a bistro. And I saw a change in people, feeling like it's all over. We lost the South Side. Uh, the, uh, the ground zero of the history movement, which was North 7th Street, has now taken over the South Side, and we've lost it. And I thought, no, you know, we, we have lost some people, for sure, um, but we can maintain a sizable community here. We, we can be uh, very adamant about the fact that we have been here and we will continue to be here. But we need to be encouraged. We need a green light to move forward. And uh, so we created the Green Light District, basically uh, allowing people to think more positively about their neighbors, about connecting, even connecting with the newcomers to make this a better community. So we created five different committees that would deal with health and culture, uh, the arts, education, uh, re retrofitting buildings, really to engage people in greening spaces in doing all the work together that can make of this in 10 years a model neighborhood for community and environmental wellness. We have the green light to go forward and be part of the development, the expansion, um, and the enrichment of this community as we go forward. What I would say about how El Puente shows up in our community, it shows up in all sorts of different ways. Puente is a place where young people come, feel safe, inspired to be better. You realize that everyone in that audience is there to support you. None of them wish you like harm. They all want you to be the best that you can be. And it's such a great feeling and that rush of energy you get after like, oh my God, I just killed it. They find their stage, whatever that is. You know, they really shine and they shine powerfully. And they understand there's a community that is supporting them to do that. And, and I think that's, that's so powerful in terms of the experience particularly for young people, but also, I would say, quite honestly, for the adults at El Puente, that this is a place where everyone can shine, and they understand that their, their light really adds to the brilliance of, of the collective. <laughs>